the Raiju is the absolute salt mining king. Awarded to the top 16 teams of Alliance Tournament 17, only 140 were ever given out. With bonuses to warp scram and disruptor range, as well as strength bonuses to remote sensor dampeners, it's able to lock down opponents and kill them, while sitting safely out of their lock range. If you don't have 150 billion esque to spend on one however, there are cheaper alternatives. Grab a buddy, or an ult, and sit them in a carries. The obvious next step would be to hop in a Gama, but I'd like some more punch. I'm using a Loki, with bonuses to web range. The result is a target who is stuck in place, with a gimped lock range, and nothing to do but watch his hit points drain away. A slow and painful death. First up, a Cerberus. How often can you say you've outranged a Cerb at 20 clicks? Yellow Box goes bye bye. Takes a while to wear him down, but that's okay, we're in no rush. He's listing lazily to the left. This guy knows some manoeuvres. Won't save him this time though. You can see here my Loki has a lock range of 81.25 kilometers. Let's see what the carries has to say about that. After damps, lock range is now less than 10. Nasty. Baru, a viewer hanging out in my in-game chat, decided to stop by in his stabber to see what I was doing. Baru must be lucky because he brought a target too. If you like what I do and want to join me when I'm out and about, feel free to drop in. Just search for the channel Evil YouTuber in game. Getting damps on target before he can launch drones at you is pretty critical. Once the drones are on you, the damps won't be able to shake them. Not a danger for my Loki here, but the carries is pretty squishy. The Astero never bothers launching them though. You may have seen a recent video of mine where I used jams to get a similar effect. So how is this any different? Jams have a chance to fail, and you really need to fit the correct jams to match your target ship to maximise your chances. Damps just work. My setup reliably slashes the target's lock range by almost 90%. You can see in local chat a friendly passerby had warned me 20 minutes prior that I was at risk of getting dropped. I'm distracted when I notice a Helios decloak. Advice swiftly forgotten. It was bound to happen sooner or later. At least this time I wasn't flying something brawly and had some distance on them. My hazy reaction was luckily as incompetent as their drop. Sometimes you just gotta get lucky. Thank you to the Loki for not pointing me for some reason. I guess they're used to dropping at zero. Maybe he only had a scram? Run away! I really need to pay more attention. I look over and a pacifier is stealing my decloak drone. Thief! He's committed though. Leave it alone. Drones avenged. I was waiting ages for this Hakate to land in my bubble. I went to investigate and found him AFK on the gate. We've all done it. I'm not one to turn down a free kill though. I 
another Astero. This time he launches drones. I'm getting a bit lazy with my dams. I'm confident that Loki's got this solo, but let's add insult to injury. Now that he's damped, he can't send his drones into attack. Nice of him to keep them out though. I'll scoop them to my drone bay and use them as decloakers. A Loki has just jumped in which presents me with a dilemma. Do I decloak? I'll be able to lock him the moment he lands and get my damps off instantly. But what if he dodges the decloak or bounces off a celestial? He could sneak up on me and I'm unlikely to survive fighting a brawl. I hold cloak until he appears. I must have surprised him. His active shield tank melts. Did he forget to turn on his hardness? Credit where credit's due, he launches his drones at my carries the moment it decloaks, forcing it to warp off. Turns out I didn't need damps though. I'm outside his missile range. You can actually see his missiles sputter out early. Surprisingly easy kill. Baru, my good luck charm, is back in a caracal. A busted of all things has just jumped in, and between us, we've only got one single warp disruptor. If you didn't know, the buster's roll bonus gives it a plus two to its warp core strength, meaning we can't tackle it. Our first plan is to keep him inside the bubble by bumping him. At first, I'm worrying about hitting him so hard he pops out the other side, but it all goes a bit pear-shaped. Swing and a miss. Our only option now is to keep bumping him off his warp vector. If he aligns to anything, he can warp off. I reconnect to the drones I was using to decloak people. I need all the damage I can get. Trying to line up another run? This is just ridiculous. Bonk. He's so close to aligning out. Maybe, maybe, maybe... I hit reload, but Barry saves the day. Come on, payday. Yeah, better than a slap in the face, I'll take it. Mm. 
Notice he was also nullified. Dear oh dear. Giveaway time. Leave a comment below for your chance to win this Phantasm Scope Syndication skin. One of the better syndication skins, I think. That's all for this video. Cheers.